and welcome. Today we're going to talk about additives. What are additives? Where do we find additives? And most importantly, what does additive do to our body? So what are additives? As you may hear from the name, is something added. So if I want to change the colour or the taste of this water to make a different drink, I can add something. It could be something natural or it could be something artificial. So here I have a beetroot. This beetroot is really, really healthy. It contains loads of antioxidants and minerals very good for the body and I can, I can use it for changing colours as well. It turns really really nice and red. So in the old days before they had artificial colourings they would use natural things. But that wouldn't taste very nice so let's add something else to make the taste of it. So now I have a strawberry flavoured drink. It is red and beautiful. But the hard thing about this one, it doesn't really taste that nice. Doesn't taste very much at all, just like water with a slight taste. And the other thing about it is, these strawberries, if I leave them there for a few months, it will all be rotten away. Maybe it's an easier way to make my strawberry flavoured drink. I have some chemicals here, some artificial things I can use. Just a tiny few drops and it'll be nice and coloured. But to make it taste nice I could use sweetness and I could use flavourings. Flavourings is anything which makes a flavour. So let me use this sweetener here. And the good thing about this one, it's sugar free. So when I make advertisement I can actually put like really nice, like nice strawberries outside, although they don't contain any strawberries. And I can say sugar free. And then people may think it's really healthy. And then a bit of strawberry flavouring. A little bit more colour and then it will be really just right. It's starting to look better now, isn't it? Look at this one. Beautiful. Strawberry flavoured drink. And not all the hassle of growing and picking and storing is just all that ready to be put in. Cool. So where do we find additives? Additives can be found in most food. It could be found in things you don't think is so healthy, like your sweets and junk food. It could be found in things you think is really good for you. It could be in your normal sandwich, your baked goods, your sandwich spreads, your ham or your salad cream. And it could also be found in things you think is really, really good for you. It could be, for example, in a dairy-free milk. It can also be found in things you don't think about, but it's still going into your body. For example, your hand cream, your sun cream, your perfume, or even your toothpaste. Why does this toothpaste need to be blue? Many people think they're eating really healthily but they may still consume 10 to 20 additives a day. Let's take a closer look at two children's lunchboxes and see what we can find. So here we find two lunchboxes. They look quite similar. They both have water. They have a yogurt an apple and a sandwich. 
with the first look you may think this is exactly the same but the content is a little bit different it's like for example gold and gold painted the quality of it differs let's first take a look at the sandwich this sandwich here is made out of stone grown spelt flour and the ingredients are spelt flour water salt yeast and sugar this one starts quite similar and is flour water oil yeast salt and sugar but the flour is different and that means a lot because this is stone grown spelt flour and this is refined wheat flour which we talked more about last film but the difference comes here what else is in this bread roll because this bread roll here it will soon turn quite stale in two or three days is either hard or moldy but this one it can be there for ages and ages and it looks exactly the same because it contains for example emulsifiers E472, E471, E481, soya flour, gelling agent E466, preservatives, calcium propanate, flour treatment agent, ascorbic acid E920. All this is added to this bread roll to make it keep longer so it kind of doesn't go off so you don't lose money by throwing away your baked goods. And inside the sandwich what do we have? This one has butter and turkey. This one has margarine and sliced up turkey. What is healthiest margarine or butter? Butter is made out of butter which, with milk and salt, nothing else. But this margarine here is made with vegetable oils, starch, salt, buttermilk, emulsifiers, preservatives, citric acid, flavorings and color. Can you see? It's loads of different things. Not only one thing, but a whole list of things. It's not very natural, is it? And more and more research shows butter is actually better for you than margarine. What about the ham? If you look at this one, this is sliced up turkey. This morning I put some turkey in the oven and then I sliced it up. So it's nothing added, just turkey with a bit of salt. So this one also contains turkey. But 79% is turkey and 21% is actually something else. 21% is actually quite a big percentage. It contains water, starch, salt, dextrose, milk protein, stabilizer, antioxidants, preservatives and natural flavorings. So as you can see, it's loads of things added to this turkey. So here we have the sandwiches. They're not the same, although they look similar. What about the yogurt? This one is natural yogurt. It's milk and nothing else. And this one has a long ingredients list. This is strawberry flavored yogurt. It contains yogurt, which is made of milk, water, fructose, modified maize starch, gelatin, flavorings, colors, acidity regulators, citric acid, and sweetness. And the sweetener on this one is aspartame. So as you can see earlier today, flavorings, what is it? Anything added who makes a really nice flavor. But is it real and is it good for us? What about the apple? Here we have two really nice apples. This one is from my garden and it will soon rot away. And this apple is a Granny Smith apple. It's natural high in salicylates, which is a natural preservative to make it keep longer. In addition, the producers may have sprayed different chemicals on it to make it last even longer. Which one looks best? I think this one looks best actually. But this one, you may get a headache eating it. What about water? Water, it can't be anything wrong with water, can it? We all know water is really, really healthy for you. Water is the best thing you can drink. And the producers, they know that too. They know water is good. 
But I also know we actually love sweet taste. We want actually the best of both. So that's why they have made flavored water. So it looks the same. So you think, oh, that's not bad, is it? So I want to choose the water. And the water contains carbonated water, apple juice from concentrate, citric acid, flavorings, preservatives, sweetness, acidity regulators. You may not want to put Coke in your child's lunchbox, but what's the difference? Let's make some Coke and see. So first I need some carbonated water. And a lot of sugar. Seven teaspoons. This is a lot of sugar and what does all the sugar do to your body? It doesn't really look like Coke yet, so I need some colour. This colour is really great because it makes it turn black. So you can hide all the other ingredients. So I put the colour in before the flavourings because then it looks great. So I added some nice black colour and now I need only two more ingredients and need a little bit of phosphoric acid. I don't really know what it is but I'm sure it makes it great. And then I need a little bit of flavouring. This is a natural flavouring including caffeine and it makes the coke taste absolutely delicious. Look, only five ingredients and I got my glass of coke. What's the difference in between these two? They both have carbonated water. The coke has sugar and this one has sweetness. Coke has colours, this one has apple juice from concentrate. The coke has phosphoric acid and this one has citric acid. Coke has natural flavourings which includes caffeine and this one has flavourings and it also has acidity regulator. So as you can see what you thought was a healthy lunchbox contains a lot of additives. As one single dose these additives may not harm you but what about if you eat it every single day? When additives are tested, they are tested one additive at a time. They are tested for a short period of time and they are tested on healthy adults. What about the children? What about if they get additive given to them every single day for a long period of time? What effect will it give? What effect will it do later in life? We may not see it straight away. So what does additives do to their body? What's mostly known is maybe hyperactivity. Additives can make children hyperactive. I was given this one from a friend before Easter time and she said you can have this to show people what they shouldn't eat because I definitely don't want to give it to my children. I bought two packs, they had one and they got totally crazy. And look at it, it even contains a warning. It says here, please note E102, E110, E122, E129 may have an adverse effect in activity and attention in children. That's not very common, it's written on it, but on this one it's written, this contains harmful additives, makes your kids crazy. But unfortunately, most additives will not be like that. They don't have an immediate effect. You don't feel any difference. You eat it, but you feel fine. But gradually, all the additives together make changes to your body. And these are some of the symptoms. It could be difficulties concentrating, behavior issues, ADHD, lack of common sense, to be really stubborn, difficulties with social interaction, can't sit still, restless. It could be more physical symptoms like eczema, asthma, tummy aches, irritable bowel syndrome, headaches. It could be obesity or difficulties losing weight, to be really fussy, have low appetite, it can be bedwetting, difficulties holding urine, sleeping issues, to feel tired all the time, mood swings, temper tantrums, aggression, depression, 
or to feel anxious. But what's not on the list? What does additives do to our inner system? Inside your body, you have trillions of microbes helping you to digest your food. It helps you to sleep well, have a stable mood and have the energy you need. Your microbes help you to break down the food for building blocks. But additives may alter this. Up to recently, we thought emulsifiers was really safe. But a recent study done on mice shown that after consuming emulsifiers for three months, it changes the gut flora of the mice. And if that's happening to the humans, it's very, very serious. So what should we do now? I will say, eat as much natural food as possible, because we don't know the effect of additives. Even if they're made of natural ingredients, they may have a harmful effect in the long run. Sugar is a natural ingredient, but you shouldn't have too much of it. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again at my next course.